Hi guys, this is the first tutorial for the SEO link domination software. In this session I would like to show how to set up a new website profile. So let's start. Here we have the website profile manager screen and within the screen we have a number of fields and for each profile we must fill all of the fields in. As you can see we have the first name, last name, the username which we want to create on our sign up sites and the password we want to use. We have a email that we wish to use as well. We can create a new Gmail account This will change in future versions in which I want to add in other email services as well. To create a new Gmail account, we simply fill all our information in. We click the create Gmail. No, we don't need the email field in. And this opens up Gmail, fills in our details. We do our verification log into the account and then when we exit the login once we've logged in and gone to our account the information will appear in the email box uh, to gmail.com or googlemail.com we add our address in we add in our anchor text keywords description and any urls so let's create a new profile. We click add a new site. Call this Steve Test. We start adding our details. Username we'll create. These are called Nintendo Lite, password A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. E email. I create a Gmail, which I will use. Gmail.com. Add the address in. UK. When it comes to our anchor text, we want spinnable anchor text in this field. And the way to do this is to take your main keyword phrases for your site, your initial phrase and any long tail keyword phrases, and put these in this field separated by the pipe delimiter. So we would have, we would have keyword one, pipe, keyword two, pipe, keyword three. And these are the anchor text that spin based on your URL list. I've created some of these earlier, so I will get the data I need. As we're creating a test Nintendo DS site, I've created a set of keywords, Handheld DS, Nintendo Lite, Best Wii Games, Super Nintendo Bros Wii and Nintendo Wii Fit. I also have some test keywords for my keyword list. Then we add some description in. With the description we can put our description of our site and we include our keyword phrases but we must make it so it doesn't sound spammy and it sounds quite natural. Note that 
depending on the options we choose in the create link screen our URLs will be spun using our URL list and our anchor text when we do the autofill later on during our link creation process so let's add some text in here I'm just going to add in some base text to show you how to actually do this I'll add in I'm an avid fan of all things Nintendo all things Nintendo light I enjoy the best Wii games and just love using my own personal trainer the awesome Nintendo Wii Fit Plus I would suggest putting some additional text in here but it actually depends on the type of site you're signing up for some sites have a limitation on the description you can actually add to the about or bio or signature boxes so just bear that in mind when you're adding your description text in as it will include your anchor text and URLs as well so let's add in some URLs that we want to add all I've done I've taken some URLs from a blog I've created and we will add some of these in Number one, number two, number three, and the last one I'm adding in is actually. a direct link to an Amazon product note that in the URL list we have an active tick box what this tick box does if the box is ticked this site is included in the spinning URL and anchor text lists if you for example only want to promote one site say I want to promote this blog I will take just the blog and only this blog will be used in the spun text but I would recommend using at minimum two sites but I'm going to choose them all let me click save current site and that's our profile created it's as simple as that if we wish to modify profile we simply click the profile itself in the list on the left go in add some additional text in uncheck our sites and any change must be saved again save current site that's saved we can go back to Steve test default and as we see all our changes have been saved. That's our website profile manager.